Leave it to the crooks to take advantage of your desperate situation. There's a new kind of crime out there that target people who face foreclosure. In this Fox 11 investigation, John Schwada meets a homeowner who says her property was stolen right out from under her. I have my whole family here. We've worked very hard. I had 12 years here so far. My children have grown up here. It's a nightmare for L.A. school administrator Anna Barellas and her family. According to my mortgage company, I no longer own my home. A grant deed that I supposedly had signed gave my home basically to these four companies as a gift. Never heard of the companies, never met any of the people. Barellas became the target of scam artists after briefly falling behind in her mortgage payments. When financially strapped homeowners have to walk away from their properties, Sometimes the crooks walk in with their phony documents, locksmiths, and chutzpah. All they need is a few months to hit the jackpot. So bottom line in the whole thing is is that uh, foreclosure started to roll in, and, and as soon as that happens, these guys come out of the woodwork. Predators. The, predators. This woman, a registered nurse who asked us not to use her name. She says she was caught in the crossfire of the same scam. It's very strange that these people can do such things like this. She lived in this house in Stevenson Ranch until a year ago. Now three companies claim the woman and her husband signed a grant deed, giving the house to them as a gift. Is that your signature? No, that's definitely not my signature, not you... even my husband's signature. Both this woman and Anna Barellas have filed police reports charging forgery. The former Stevenson Ranch resident also told us she never met these two men, both apparently involved in the mysterious transfer of this property. Now her former house stands empty. A sign declares the property is in the name of Victoria Holdings, owned by James Rojas, an ex-con. We paid a surprise visit to Rojas's office to get some answers. What about this woman, Anna Boreas? Well, never you, heard of her? Never heard of her. Never heard of her. Never saw her. Rojas admits to dealing in foreclosure properties. He says he jumps in just before they're sold at auction to offer the desperate homeowners a deal. Individuals are losing their home foreclosure. Okay. We look at the, the value of this and that, see what we do. Offer them. If they're going into the trustee sale, like in two days, you're going to lose it. All right. Here's 1000 500 2000 whatever it is. And they give us a grant deed. But Fox 11 News has now talked to three people who supposedly deeded over their houses to Rojas. And all of them said the signatures on those deeds were not theirs, that they never gave or sold their homes to anyone just days before they went into foreclosure. Rojas blames former employees, but refuses to name them. They have a very funny, funny suspicion who it is. Then there's the notary who works next door to Rojas. His name and notary stamp are on the questionable documents we found. Fox 11 News asked Forrest Reed if he notarized the deeds. So? So I didn't sign any of them. Reed says his notary stamp was stolen and misused. Have you filed a complaint? Yes, sir, I've got a police report right here. And they've got a file on him over there like that. Reed tells us Rojas is the culprit. He's phoning up deeds and filing them and uh, going in and taking over these people's houses. He's stealing their property? Yeah, he's stealing their property. He served four years in the federal penitentiary for doing the same thing that he's doing now. In fact, according to federal officials, Rojas was sentenced to 18 months in federal prison for loan fraud a decade ago, and records show he has filed for bankruptcy nine times. Rojas says he has dozens okay. of properties in his name, admits business is booming, but denies any wrongdoing. The experts tell us these smooth operators never intend to hold these properties for long. They want to make a fast buck, either by leasing the property to unsuspecting tenants, borrowing money against the properties, or simply stripping them of their appliances. It's all part of the foreclosure game. In Los Angeles, I'm John Schwatta, Fox 11 News.